Hello everybody, I'm Chris Bot. Go back for another video. Now today with me I have this. This is the um the Ghost Train set from the Monster Fighters line, Lego of course, um from 2012. And I am going to be attempting to motorize this. It's not very well designed um for motorization. It does have the wheels that will fit on the wells, um the Lego wells, but the cores do not, they just have kind of simple, like, even tiles on them, so I don't really know where I'm going to put the battery box. Um, but I'm going to attempt to kind of retrofit this in a way it can be motorized. So, um, I'm going to now go and try to figure out something I can do with this, and if I find anything out, um, which I presume I will have if, uh, this video is actually being uploaded, then, um, I'll come back and I'll show you what I did. Okay, so if you put this motorized wheel piece here in the front, it will sit on the well wells pretty nicely and it will roll along, but it will get stopped at curves. It will not. These back wheels, this is too wide to go around curves. It will not turn. So the whole thing's a little too long. So it might be a walk around for that. I'm not sure yet. Okay, I've moved some one by one clips as well as some tooth detailing and put one big wheel in the center here. So I think it will now go around calves, although it might be a little finicky about that. We may have to kind of experiment around with the placement of that one wheel and what technical to put it actually in. So but I think that solves this, but we're still going to have to figure out somewhere to put the battery box. Okay, now I had to remove the door for the file box as well as the controls for the train. You can see some pieces I've taken out. Here I've also moved some one by one clip bricks again in there. And I have managed to fit a receiver in there. So this thing should be, if we can get hooked up to the battery box, it should be able to be remote controlled. So that's good. All right, now the set came with two of these little cords with these flappable wings. Now I've taken one of them and I've removed its wheels and replaced it with the remaining big wheels from the original engine and I have also put the battery box on here as well as the um this just kind of coupling piece to try to make it compatible with um regular old calls as opposed to the funky um coupling that it had so hopefully that works I'm not sure if that works super well the heights may not match up very well but hopefully the train at least will run now I have it well you can get the wire from the wheels straight to the battery box. You don't actually have to use the sensor. Okay, I've got the sensor hooked back up, so hopefully this time it just won't go shooting off. Let's turn it on. Okay, there we go. Here's the remote. Let's see if we can get it to going at a slow speed. Um, if I can remember what frequency I have it set on. Here we go. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. It is indeed running around the track. It has indeed been motorized. Um, so, there it is. Okay, and it actually looks like it can pull the Toy Story train caboose. Um, so, it can at least haul one car in addition to its little tender thing with the battery box. So yeah, it actually runs pretty well if you don't get it going too fast. So, yeah, it actually does quite well. Um, so I'm quite pleased with how this turned out. Yeah, I may have to go a little bit slowly with it, but it definitely does walk in this configuration. So I hope this video has helped you out um, and figure out a way to get this set that's a little bit difficult to motorize, to get it motorized. And um, once again, I want to thank you for watching. I would implore you, of course, to like and subscribe. And I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in my next train video.